Hey there good people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tejo and today I am going to be talking about the new MacBook Pro, the 16 inch with that M1 chip. It is a powerhouse of a machine. It is this machine right here. It is massive in size, um, but I'll get into that a little bit later in the video. This is a bit of a review video, but I won't be getting into too much detail. I just wanna talk about my experiences and some of the things that I really enjoyed while using this machine. It is a test unit from the iStore and I will have to take it back. But yeah, iStore, thank you so much for allowing me to play around with this uh, MacBook Pro. Um, after this, I will have to go back to my previous generation MacBook Pro and it won't be the same. I can tell you that uh, for free. So let's jump right into it and uh, my thoughts on the new MacBook Pro 16 inch M1. So let me make things a little bit easier for myself before we jump right into it. I'm gonna list five things that I really enjoyed about this here MacBook Pro and then I will tell you why I enjoyed them so much. So number one, definitely for me, is the battery life. The battery life is phenomenal, especially here in South Africa where we are experiencing tons and tons of load shedding. Uh, I mean, here with this new MacBook Pro, you can easily work without having to charge your, your machine. You can open up multiple tabs. And while you're editing the video, you won't experience much draining of your battery like you typically used to with previous uh, generation of MacBook Pros. So it is, a giant leap uh, in the right direction, especially for us creatives. And uh, yeah, let's move on to number two. Number two for me is the screen size. This is a 16 inch. It is absolutely gigantic, you know, but it comes with its own restrictions, especially if you're a traveler, which is something that I noticed recently when I traveled abroad. But I'll jump into that a little bit later on in the video. So yeah. Definitely number coming in at number two is the screen size, which made it a lot easier for me to edit my, my, my photos and video as well, since I've been doing a lot more uh, video work. And just the bigger screen has made it a lot easier for me to navigate through the little um, windows when you are editing. <music> So definitely coming in at number three has to be the card reader that is embedded in the machine and it has made tons and tons of difference especially when you're transferring uh, data from your SD card to your either your computer or your uh, hard drive. They brought back the ports and it has made um, things much easier especially when you are creative on the go. <music> So coming in at number five, again, the no overheating thing. It's almost as if this MacBook Pro doesn't have a fan because I've never experienced uh, the fan go off. I know I, I said five things, but there's, there's a sixth actually. The export speed from Premiere has made things so much better for me, especially when editing. Uh, short format content for, for Instagram, like IG Reels. Export time is now like under a minute, a minute for a 30 second clip, which is amazing. And this is after you've put on grading, you've edited, you've done multi-layer tracks on Premiere and it, it just exports it like this, which has saved me tons of time. And um, I really, really, um, enjoyed that aspect of it that the time that i've saved while using this has also freed me up to also take on a uh, more work so before i close off there's one thing that i also noticed about this macbook pro which is the size the size is great especially if you're at home editing and maybe slides moving around from here to there to go work at a coffee shop the size is perfect but I found that when you start traveling it really adds on a significant weight especially if you're a photographer like myself or a videographer uh, and you have to travel with your gear adding this 
MacBook Pro does add on weight onto your bag and that's something that you also need to think about as a creator. Do you travel a lot? If not, then the 16 inch is definitely something that you can look at. But if you're traveling a lot, the look, try looking at the 14 inch, more importantly the size, uh, it will help you a great deal, especially when you're again traveling. So who is this MacBook for? I would definitely have to say it's for creatives, uh, people that are on the move, pushing very heavy uh, file loads and really wanna get them out to their clients as soon as possible. So definitely for creatives, if you're using any of those Adobe um, applications, this, this is definitely one of the machines that you should be considering getting. And uh, yeah, that's it from me again. This was just my personal experience while using this loan unit from the iStore. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Tseho and thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, keep well. Peace.